Are you interested in knowing whether a polyphasic schedule could be dangerous? In the last video, we talked about the buildup and clearance of amyloid beta in the brain. In today's video, we will be talking about appetite changes and weight gain with regards to sleep deprivation. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jelte Klas and I'm one of the main authors of polyphasic.net, the main resource for everything polyphasic sleep. Let's start by defining today's topic. Not today's topic is that when you're out and about all day long on a reduced sleep polyphasic schedule, you will need slightly more energy because you use up more energy because you're not sleeping. It is natural to expect in that case that you need to eat slightly more to maintain homeostasis. The topic of today's video instead is how changes in appetite due to sleep deprivation can lead to possible weight gain. The research paper titled The Impact of Sleep Deprivation on Food Desire in the Human Brain by Greer et al. states that the region of your brain that regulates your appetite is activated less when presented with food choices if you are sleep deprived. They also explain that this is associated with an increased craving for high calorie foods. So when sleep deprived, you are more likely to crave high calorie foods and eat more of them. That's of course a great recipe for weight gain. At this point in time, the community is still working on tracking the weight of polyphasers. The plan is to integrate this in the same app that tracks the cognitive performance. Once this app is complete, the progress should be very straightforward. Let's talk about some anecdotal evidence now. One of the adaptation criteria that we use is that the person should have a regular appetite. This means that after the adaptation, their appetite should return to normal, both from wanting to eat food and from not wanting to eat too much food. While this isn't very solid evidence, it is something we already take into account when considering if someone is adapted or not. So then, polyphasic sleepers shouldn't have any changes in appetite after they've adapted. But what about weight gain? Well, since a waking body needs a bit more energy than a sleeping one, it's logical that people will need to eat a little bit more to sustain their energy needs compared to before they started a reduced sleep schedule. That's of course assuming you're not eating around the clock or doing other things that would ruin your dark period as the community suggests you do. If you are interested in learning more about the dark period and best practices for it, have a look at this video we made earlier. How the food intake of polyphasic sleepers changes during adaptation and after has actually been tracked in the 2018 polyphasic survey. Switching to a polyphasic schedule caused the following changes. 17 people ate more, 11 people ate less and 31 people ate about the same amount as they did before they started adapting. With this information on hand you can do two things. If you think you've adapted but your changed appetite is leading to you gaining weight in the long term, you might need to consider you may not actually be adapted and have a look for some other signs of lingering sleep deprivation. Also, you can anticipate these effects on your appetite. By monitoring your calorie consumption, you can make sure that you maintain a healthy diet in the right amounts. If you can't trust your appetite, trust in the numbers instead. That's all for today's topic. In the next video, Crimson will talk about how sleep onset latency changes with adaptation. See you next time, until then, sleep well.